Anna Sloan. So um, you see Waikato, you have nine minutes. The time is on the board, but we won't start the time until you're organised and ready to start. So just relax, organise yourself and start when you're ready. Just leave it, it'll self-set. Cool. Thank you very much for your time today. Uh, my name is Ryan West, we've got Anna here and we've got Gemma, and we're here representing uh, five uh, organisations in the Waikato that uh, represent young people. So to kick it off, firstly, I'd like to first acknowledge uh, Mayor Andrew King, Deputy Mayor uh, Martin Gallagher, Councillors uh, Siggy Henry, Ryan Hamilton, Angelie O'Leary and James Carson for attending our workshop we had around a month ago. Um, with the young people of Hamilton and the 10-year plan. So thank you very much for your attendance to start off with. Cool, so why are we here today? Um, as 23% uh, of the population, we want to get our voices heard around what we want for the city, um, and we want to get not only ours, but the wider population of young people in Hamilton uh, to voice their opinion. Um, so uh, we've put together a bit of a workshop um, to collect that feedback and then present it to you today. So um, I'll now hand you over to Anna, we'll explain that process. So um, we've collaborated with a number of young people's organisations, including Sea Waikato, which basically our big dream is to see young people thrive in Hamilton, to connect, to grow, to ins be inspired. And that's largely through our monthly inspirational storytelling events, which um, Paula and... Um, Yes, thank you, you um, Mark Bunting, you um, attended last session. So anyway, so the Sea Waikato, we're Hamilton Young Professionals, which um, aims at networking um, group opportunities. Zeal also contributed, um, who is a um, community Can hub. Sure. Sorry, is that better? Uh, Zeal is a community hub for aged 13 to 18 year olds, which is a safe place to express their creativity. We also um, collaborated with The Creators, which is a community-focused business for artists, and then the YWCA um, on Pembroke Street, um, which provides um, empowerment for women. And so the reason why we have put our submission together in the way that we have is because um, we'd like to reflect the work of the Waikato Vital Signs report produced by Momentum Waikato. Um, we have a strong sense of accountability and responsibility to our place, um, and as a millennial generation, we'd love to be part of co-creating the solutions around that. So there's four areas, uh, five areas, sorry, of our submission, and what I've got up here on the screen is just the reflection of what the um, economy poster was reading, um, which reflected our housing priorities as a community. I'll just note that we had over 400 people engage with us as part of the Vital Signs Project, so this is a good representation from our community. Um, you'll see in there that, that we're wanting to address issues around housing afford affordability, availability and quality, um, and would like to commend um, the council on having a focus of this in um, the long-term plan. Secondly, um, the focus of our submission was around sustainability, um, again reflected back in the Vital Signs report about taking care of our awa um, and making sure that um, we're responsible as we um, grow as a city to become the second biggest city in the country shortly. <laughs> um, around community infrastructure, um, we note that um, there is a desire to create a hub in the Rotatuna area. Um, some of our other communities are struggling and as part of our submission have recommended that a hub be explored in um, one of our more vulnerable communities. Um, again, highlighting the fact that um, issues with transport may um, prohibit some from being able to access hubs um, in those uh, other areas. Community grants, um, we've put up there the top community priorities for action from the Vital Signs Report um, and, and we've encouraged the councillors to consider um, those priorities when making grants going forward and aligning with those priorities alongside other funders. And lastly, with Te Reo Māori, we noted that there was, uh, I believe, less than five mentions of Māori. Uh, we did a word search in the document. Māori was mentioned less than five times. Um, we're disappointed by that, and we would love to see um, greater inclusion with Māori through partnership. Um, we're not here to suggest what that would look like, but we encourage you to work with Māori to establish what that should be. Um, yeah. Uh, any questions? Okay. 
Uh, Councillor Mark. Thank you. Um, I noticed, um, Anna, in your submission, you didn't support an investment in Rotorua Community Hub, uh, nor did you support further suburban destination playgrounds. What was the rationale of the group behind that decision? We just thought the um, the 19 million that was put towards the or, or set out for the Rotorua Community Hub could be used elsewhere mm. in, um, as Gemma said, more vulnerable um, suburbs and community. Um, Rotorua already have the you know, the shops and the, and the New World and that hub there. And so potentially that money could be used elsewhere, for example, through community grants mm -hmm. um, and opening up some housing opportunities, for example, through Habitat for Humanity. Yep. So using that money more wisely. And um, our, our thoughts on the playgrounds were that um, sometimes families are using playgrounds at schools already and basically um, focusing on the playgrounds we already have and um, working to maintain and upgrade them rather I than see. spending the money into new playgrounds. I see. Thank you. <laughs> Councillor Deputy Mayor Martin. Thank you. And, and also um, that inspiring session you had at Hamilton Gardens with all, our old colleague Margaret Forsyth. That was fabulous. We used to have a youth, youth um, advisory group, and I'm not being disrespectful. The trouble is when you appoint a youth, an advisory group, sometimes they may sort of not be as blunt as we should here. Just generally, because I notice how seed you pick up young professionals, zeal creators, YWCA, would you see moving forward some form of ongoing advisory role? I mean, obviously, so that the voices you represent, you know, right, you know, right up to the, the Deputy early Mayor. 30s. Uh, Excuse me, Deputy Mayor. This wasn't part of the submission. They didn't bring that up, and I corrected a member on that yesterday. This is a politically charged subject you're bringing up, and I'd rather you moved on to your next question, please. Uh, yes. As part of the LTP process, do you see a potential follow-up by ongoing advice to the Council? Deputy Mayor, that question is not appropriate. Could you please ask another question, or I'll ask the next member to ask a question? That's not fair to put that on somebody else, oh, on these people. Yeah, sure. OK. The question I would be is, perhaps, what contact have you had also with, say, central government figures like MPs, government departments, because obviously these, there are broader issues in your excellent submission that I would think that central government with local government should be picking up, particularly around you know, the housing availability, employment opportunities, that kind of thing. Um, I can say that we met with um, the, honest, uh, the Minister for Youth Development in right. March. Um, yep. So we have began a conversation between us at a more grassroots level and, and the ministry around collaboration around these issues and an alignment of strategy going forward. So we will continue to work with the minister in that space. Thank you. I'll follow up with staff on my earlier questions. Councillor Paula. Thank you. I see that you support the Hamilton River Plan. That's the original strategy adopted by council, not, not uh, the later um, projects put up by the Central City Park. So you're talking about what was in the River Strategy originally? <laughs> Not sure. No, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll come back. We can... <laughs> Councillor Mellot. No, I'm asking... No, hang on. I'm oh, sorry. Finished. I thought you let the question go. No, no. I'm just going to let that question go. The other one it was the just... One question each, but I'll come... Yeah, last question, Paula. Um, uh, with the community hubs, um, are you thinking of New, new hubs in the vulnerable areas or maybe um, working in with the community houses that are already in those areas to increase their capacity? And is um, there's a uh, saying, nothing about us without us. I think um, it would be best to talk to those communities. We, um, I personally don't live in one of those communities, so I think it would be best to explore what the opportunity is with the people within those communities, either at the community houses mm -hmm. or working together in partnership with a number of stakeholders to develop what that would look like. Cool. Thank you very much. Great submission. Thank you. Councillor Gary. Thank you. Um, in your submission, you mentioned there were you, were you were disappointed with the number of times the word Maori was in the submission. Are you supportive of initiatives based on race? Uh, Councillor Gary. That's a very clear question. Uh, we it's a very know, straight question. We know that there is three languages in New Zealand, and any language which wish to be used can be used. Yeah. And yeah. Well, there was the, the, the group. Um, uh, expressed disquiet that there were only th three yes, mentions of Gary, Maori. Our, our job is to listen to submissions. Their job is to give us their feeling. It's not our job to challenge what yeah, they are. I'm uh, trying to find out what, they, Gary, what their point was. Gary, sorry, you're, you're challenging their 
I'm trying to explore. Fair Langford would like to. They would like to see more of one of the other three official languages in New Zealand be used. Would you like to ask another question? Not. What's that your question. concern that the word Maori was only used three times, or that Maori initiatives were not mentioned? I don't understand what you're engagement were getting with at. Tangata Fenua. Yeah. So engagement what was the problem? With so what, what, what Working was the together problem? with Maori was was our yeah. Okay, because from, from memory you said the word Maori was only used three times or something. Gary? Five times. Or well, five times or something, yeah, I can't remember many times. Just once again, members, we're not here to challenge what other people are telling us. They're here to tell us it's our job to listen, not challenge. Okay, thank you very much, <coughs> um, Gemma, Ryan and Anna, for your presentation. And thank you for your um, what you're doing with SEED in, in the Waikato and Hamilton. It's fantastic.